Now, next tonight, picture the scene. You're walking out to your car, and as you get closer, you notice a little mark on the side. And then it dawns on you that some vandals dragged a key along it, leaving an ugly scratch on your paintwork that'll cost an arm and a leg to have repaired. Yes, you're not going to be best pleased, are you? But uh, how about if you then found out it was all in the name of art, and you should feel flattered <laughs> to have been a part of it? Well, that is exactly the situation dozens of drivers who parked in Camberwell in South London found themselves in last month. Phil Bales met the artist who freely admits to this art attack. It's a plague in our neighbourhoods. A vandal sidles up to your car, takes out a key and scrapes an ugly scratch from wheel to wheel as he walks along. Utterly mindless, you might say, but this man did it to dozens of cars, all, he claims, in the name of art. I was scratching cars back in just after Boxing Day in London and into January a little bit. I just thought I'd do one, but it became compulsive obsessive and I ended up scratching about 30. They were like Camberwell, Peckham, just around South, South London, yeah. Come on, how can you describe this as art? It's vandalism. I know, and I feel really guilty about it and I, and I, and I don't feel too good about it. When I scratched the first one, like I, to pick up the courage to do it, I'd done it in late at night and I had my hood up. Now, an artist has risked the wrath of monarchists, not to mention breaking the law, by eating swan, a privilege only legally available to the Queen. Mark McGowan, who describes himself as a performance artist, tucked into the royal bird outside a gallery in East London. He claimed it was a protest against royalty and the upper classes. The police say they will investigate the incident and could take further action. Mark McGowan is battling Britain's bus lanes. Sadly, he's not a transport planner or a politician. He's a performance artist, so his protest consists of trying to pull a route master 100 yards using just his big toe. Pull the bus, pull the bus, pull the bus, pull the bus, pull the bus. That's how you train? Yeah, psyching myself up. Like when I was at home, I was pulling the couch, like training. I was going, pull the couch, pull the couch, pull the couch. I was pulling it. And does that work? It does, yeah, because like you've only got your, your, your big toe to do it. After a lot of excruciating straining, Mark did actually pull the bus. His protest... An artist has sparked controversy, outrage even, by posing as a dead soldier curled up in a ball on a city centre street. Reg Keyes, whose military policeman's son was killed in Iraq, has called the so-called performance art insensitive. Joanne Riddle has been to take a look. Question. Do you think this is art? Well, Mark McGowan does. McGowan! Mar Mark is sporting a turkey on his head and is surrounded by a group of mentalists. Now, Mark, what is actually the message you're trying to preach today? I'm trying to carry a message to fat people. Okay. All around the streets of New York. It started well. I wanted to offer the people of America and New York a cathartic experience by um, giving them the opportunity to kick George Bush in the ass. He's doing a service, a public service, and, um, I, I, you know, I'm giving him a break. <laughs> Felt great, really. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I think a little kick is what he really needs. I'm like a therapeutic engagement for them to really go home tonight and tomorrow and think, hey, I kicked George in the ass. I came from the Lincoln Center, and the security was just saying to me, you just got to stay in here. Don't go out no more because it's dangerous out there. So end of performance art? Well, I thought I made a point. I was out there quite a few hours, you know, and everyone, you know, it, it, I thought it went down quite well to that point. Well, we, we, we've got a little bit of clip here to remind you of your glory time. Your because glory days here in the in, UK. Because in the UK... Everyone in Britain <laughs> loves you. As yeah. you can see here. But you're a bit of a masochist. But first tonight, the controversial art exhibition which reenacts the suicide bomb attack on the Piccadilly line between Russell Square and King's Cross, in which, of course, 26 people were killed. The performance artist Mark McGowan is the great art and it has to be serious art and what I went to see today or went to hear about today seemed a long way from that. You could even call it heartless art. A filthy underground room with no light where Mark McGowan claims he will reenact the 7-7 bombing like in, in the name of art. But what happened to me was um, on 9-11 like after I was completely petrified I thought that was it the world's over and then when it came to London and we had the 7-7, seven, seven, um, my mobile phone wouldn't work, I had to walk. 
to imagine that Londoners want to be locked into a reconstruction of a tube carriage, have smoke poured in it, stay there with an hour, for an hour, and pretend that they've got some form of terrorist experience really is beyond imagination. And I trust that Londoners will stay away. It's provocative and shocking, but um, to describe the experience as a cross between art, theatre and a ghost train fun fair ride, I think many survivors would see that as um, very shocking. The installation, experience, exhibition begins on February the 10th at the Guy Hilton Gallery in Fournier Street. Relive their trauma. If that's the case and if you or anyone you know is affected by this, there is a number to call. It's the NHS Trauma Response Team and they are 